<sighs> the person that made the statement that if you've not died, don't say you've seen it all, was right. Good morning, lovelies. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So today, I just want to let you guys into a little bit of me, of what's happening at the moment. If you're actually storming into my YouTube channel for the first time, let me reintroduce myself. I am Asla. Um, I have three kids on one of my kids. I have Angelman Syndrome. So, um, sorry for the snoring you'll be getting at the background. That's my son. He's actually sleeping. And this is the only place I can film this video right now. Guys, <sighs> my son that has Angelman Syndrome has suddenly developed a skin problem adding to already his sufferings now he has developed a skin problem for the past months now they've done all kinds of tests they've done all kinds of, they've given all kinds of medications but nothing is working because currently he's on antibiotics, right? The last test they, they, they did, they discovered that he has staphylococcus. That's the first time I'm actually hearing of this disease. I have searched it up, I've read it, I've looked up, I've looked down. You know, I cannot still put my hand on where and how my son had to get this disease. And when it started, it just started with a little bit here. Yeah, it started here on his arm, a patch here. I told the doctor. I said, this thing doesn't look normal to me. And they were like, oh no, it will finish. They gave a cream that has antibi uh, antibiotics in it. I put, I rubbed it there for over a week and it was gone. Though the mark is still there. I'm going to be showing you guys in a bit. So as time went by, I realized, like after two weeks, I realized he started like, itching his body he started itching his body maybe here when he itches here he's going to swell up he itches here he's going to swell up he itches here he's going to be uh, he's going to swell up i went back to the doctor what is going on what is going on and the doctor told me that they're going to conduct a test that but first let me start using a certain cream that he had to steal with antibiotics i should use it I was using those those creams it wasn't working i went back to the doctor the doctor told me because of his syndrome and the medications that he is already currently on they cannot they don't just give him antibiotics orally you know they have to be very very sure that he really needs it but i told them that he really really needs it because time is going two weeks three weeks and he's beginning to get a lot of things on his body that I don't know how, I don't know how. Because even from the crash, they didn't tell me that there's any child who is infected with that. Because normally when kids are infected with, you know, with whatever, they make sure that they, they, they tell other parents, so you know, like, you know what, my child is also at risk to, to contact this the disease. But then the crash, the, the, the daycare, did not say anything about him, you know, uh, about a child being infected with anything as such so my question is where did my son get this from i don't understand i don't really understand and then now my worry is he has been on these antibiotics for the doctor said he has to take it for seven days he has taken it already the sixth day now you know it's been six days he has been on it but i still don't see changes ah this child has suffered only the medications that race is taking that a lot that a lot to come you know come and add this skin problem also now is what i don't understand the whole of this night as in from 2 uh 2 a.m uh, this night race hasn't slept race hasn't slept race has just had high fevers very high fevers he's not feeling too well you know, and he's like, you know, not really comfortable because his skin would definitely be hurting. Let me show you guys for the past one month, how Ray's body has become. 
let me show you guys so i actually brought him here you see that i put i actually brought him to my bed look this is it because it's it, it is actually healed <laughs> so you can imagine how it was this was the one that actually this is where that thing started but see it's coming back again the mark was there but it was healed but now see it's still there it's beginning to come there again look at his arm you see how he's itching it look at his arm it's itchy it's actually very painful you know when your child is going through something and you cannot help you know you cannot take away the pain I'm first of all already dealing with the fact that, you know, he's not so okay, you know. All these other extra things that are coming to add on it is beginning to be very, very draining. Very, very draining. I don't know how, but yeah, I just have to take him back to the doctor tomorrow so I can go tell them like... <laughs> this thing they need to really check again exactly what is going on race have never had issues with his skin before he has very beautiful skin he has never had issues with his skin it is actually the first time he's having this kind of thing i don't know how he got it or however but tomorrow i'll be taking him back to the doctor yeah just put my son in prayers this child this child has seen so much medications you know for a young child like this it's it's really disheartening yeah i just wanted to let you guys you know into it as well to let you guys know that's what's going on with our baby race baby race is not okay tomorrow we'll go back to the doctor anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video bye guys